Hi, this is Greg Maxwell with Amicus Settlement Planners. I wanted to talk today about some of the habits or some of the practices of the contingency fee-based attorneys that we work with that are the most successful in terms of deferring fees and growing wealth. So we work with all kinds of plaintiff attorneys. You're all very unique. Um, and so what we hear a lot from plaintiff attorneys is I really like this idea. I wanna wait until I get a big case and then I'm gonna defer um, a lot of my fees on that big case into this deferred comp plan. And that's fine if you wanna do it that way. But what happens a lot is you then get the big case and rather than deferring like you thought you might, you decide, oh, you know, there's a there's a there's a cabin that I want to get, or there's some there's something else that comes up that you decide, oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna spend the money on that. What I was going to defer, I'm gonna spend this time, but I'll do it on the next one. And so then two or three years go by and you still haven't deferred anything into your plan. So what we found is really effective for a lot of our small attorneys, medium size attorneys and, and really big hitting attorneys is they just set aside some percentage on every single case that they're going to defer into their deferred comp plan. So for some that's 5%, 10% or 20% or more, um, but they just have a set percentage that on every case they tell their bookkeeper, um, we're going to be deferring into my deferred comp plan 10% of every case. And so we can help you establish that with the plan administrator so that it's very simple that you don't have to really even think about it. And then you just let your staff person or your bookkeeper know on every case that comes in, 10% goes into my deferred comp plan. The rest goes into the operating account like normal. And then what happens is what we found is then over the years, you're slowly but surely building a large deferred compensation plan, saving on income taxes, getting all of the benefits that we talk about in all of these videos. And it's a disciplined approach. The other advantage is that doing it that way, if you're settling a couple cases a month, for example, you're essentially dollar cost averaging into the mutual funds and index funds that you've chosen as your investment portfolio. So you get the advantages of the dollar cost averaging as well as the advantage of just a disciplined approach to funding your, your, your retirement plan, essentially. So. If we had one suggestion for all of our attorneys, it would be just set a percentage so you don't have to think about it and, and defer that amount every single time. Um, so if you have questions about that, we'd love to help you set that up. Um, give us a call and, and, and we'll talk more about it.